Kyle Lee Veris here with Phototech Tuesday. Each week I'll be posting a new video about photography, technology, art, and everything in between. Today I'm going to lean into image blending, where I take two unrelated photos and mash them together using AI. But this time we're creating video with a new AI platform called Crea.ai. This website allows you to generate images and video up to 10 seconds long using a combination of text prompts and images as keyframes. Okay, let's take a look at one of these blended videos. Pretty cool. This is blended using two different still images. So let's take a look at how this is done in Crea.ai. <clears throat> okay, so here we are, and uh, this is uh, Crea's home page. Uh, and as you can see, they, they have they've sort of put everything out here. You can do uh, image generation, uh, which they have labeled here as real-time image generation. You can upscale images and videos in the enhance section and in this video section here on the right, that's where we get into uh, generating video. So the first time uh, you come in here, you will end up um, at this sort of welcome to Crea video start page. We'll go ahead and start here. And we're given this little kind of uh, introduction to show you how to do this. It makes it very clear how to, how to proceed to generate the video. So we're going to go ahead and click on Open App here. And we are now presented with uh, this sort of blank canvas. Uh, down here we can add keyframes. You can kind of see I've done this before, so I've got one of my uh, videos sort of showing up here. Uh, let's go ahead and, and start this process. So if I click I get a, a, a well to upload an image. So I'm going to go ahead and upload this image here. So this was generated in uh, mid-journey and it's a blend between two different still photos. So uh, we're going to now make a new um, a new keyframe and I'm going to uh, since I want the the these keyframes to exact exist for half of the video, I'm going to add this one at the five second mark because I've got the duration up here at 10 seconds. So we'll, at five seconds, that's when I'm going to add my other image. And this one will be uh, an image, again, generated in mid journey, but this one is specifically a standalone still image. And uh, they're completely different, right? So that's the whole idea. Now, the next thing you need to do is add some kind of a text prompt to tell it what's going on. Um, so I'm going to click down here in the text prompt area. We'll add a text prompt and uh, I have to click and then now we can type in. So we're going to say um, fire girl walks into the mist um, trailing sparks and flames. Okay, so we'll just hit enter there uh, or close the text prompt. And now this purple area, this is the text prompt and the duration of the text prompt. So we're going to start it right at the beginning of the video and stretch it to um, just, just to the five second mark right here. Now I'm going to add another text prompt, and this is for the new scene. Um, and we'll say, a man walks through a decaying city with buildings that sway. Menace, menacingly, menacingly. Okay, I hope I got that right. And uh, okay, so now we can go ahead and close that. And here's our text prompt. I'm going to stretch that out to the end of the video here. So 
Next, we have settings here, the little gearbox. If we click on that, we can indicate the aspect ratio we want. So I'm going to go with 16 by 9, which is kind of a normal video aspect ratio. Uh, we'll go ahead and leave the motion intensity at 50%. And by default, they want to generate looping video. So when you get to the end of the video, it's the same frame as the beginning, and you can then put it on a continuous loop. Uh, we'll just go ahead and leave that um, uh, as is. And now that we've set up our parameters for the video, uh, we can get back in there and generate the video. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on this. And we start generating. We're going to, uh, I'll speed this up uh, so you don't have to wait too long. Now, once you get past this, first initial phase, we're, we're looking at a uh, sort of a preview thumbnail now. Kriya is getting uh, busy enhancing this to bring it up to uh, a better resolution and more detail in the video. Okay, so here we are now. Now we have the full res, or at least uh, the sort of um, usable res video here and it's looping and uh, it's, it's pretty wild um, <laughs> at any rate that's that's how it's done here in uh, Korea let's take a look at uh, another example of, of this kind of thing Korea AI is a cutting edge platform for video creation that leverages artificial intelligence to streamline and enhance the video production process. One of its standout features is this innovative keyframes approach, which allows users to select pivotal moments based on still images in their videos. The AI then automatically generates content around these keyframes, merging their elements, styles, and features to generate an entirely new unexpected mashup. The creative potential for directing AI hallucinations in this way is vast. Instead of text prompting for a specific outcome, blending between two or more images invites the AI to invent unique and imaginative artworks that blend human intuition with the computational power of AI. Directed AI hallucinations can offer endless possibilities for experimentation and the creation of visually stunning and conceptually rich works. Well, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the show, and hopefully this has provided some inspiration for your own creative work and um, maybe some uh, motivation to try Korea for yourself. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and ring the bell so you don't miss another Photo Tech Tuesday. Bye-bye, everybody.